Look at me, babe. My hair is not cut. I look like hell. I'm tired. And here I am making a video. What's going on, guys? Beastly Gamer here. Playing a little bit of The Last of Us Online. I know you guys have never seen me uh, play this game. I'm actually playing on Kate's profile here. We've been going back and forth. We played this last night. Running on fumes. I'm running on four hours of sleep. I'm getting ready to go to work again. There's been a lot going on um, on the Beastly Gamer channel and in the Beastly Gamer household this week. Now, I know you guys are kind of used to, uh, you know, uh, a certain thing on a certain day by now. Uh, Monday is, you know, the weekly update. Tuesday is us, the Beauty and the Beast. Wednesday is Nova Knows Best. Throwback Thursday and etc. cetera. Uh, this week has been a little hard. I've been working 65 hours this week. It might even be 67. So, uh, you know, it's vacation time up you know at, at my place of employment a lot of guys are taking off and going out of state and so I'm kind of pulling their extra weight working and uh, it's been it's been kind of rocky huh been been tired and and I haven't been able to uh, you know throw the videos together you know the videos I normally do at least I haven't been able to do I've been trying to do a little bit of news here and there I made a steam and hot Mortal Kombat video at work getting ready to go back to work right now and uh, yeah so that's what's been going on with the channel but this is a game uh, that I've never played online until two days ago I, uh, when I initially played it I uh, didn't think that the online component would add any depth to it I felt like uh, the, the single player experience would be sullied <laughs> no no pun intended um, by playing the online component and plus I didn't like how um, Naughty Dog had this online pass for the online component and I was like uh, you know I'll leave it alone and so I was uh, on eBay um, like three days ago and I was looking around at stuff and then I saw the season pass and it was um, for an auction and I got the season pass for four bucks four dollars that's less than half price because it's normally ten so I bought the season pass and I came home and um, tried out the game. And I really like this game. And Kate really likes this game. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed and, and pissed off at myself for never playing online uh, and letting that you know little season pass be an excuse because this is a very deep and um, very exciting. very exciting and, and I think the pacing of the online is great. It's not like a rushing game. You can't rush. You got to think. And you have to have good teammates. Yeah. Oh. A must. I probably played a total of seven or eight games. You played even less, right? Yeah. But she's real good at this game. Um, it's real fun. We've been going back and forth on her profile and uh, and playing it. It's. It, I really like it. I, I like the the actual thought provoking uh, scenarios you get put into because if you get somebody down, you want to go finish them, but. You really can't. <laughs> you gotta try to do it from a distance as much as you can because they might be surrounded by their buddies and they'll destroy you. But um, yeah, I, I think this is a great game. So far, the online component is pretty fun. I, I like the bow and arrow. I like the handgun. I don't know why. Usually, I like assault rifles, but the handgun is fun. And it's very gory and gruesome. But you have to have a good team. You definitely have to have a good team with you, because if not, everything gets thrown out the window. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, when you're down, like I've been down right next to somebody, and they weren't being shot at, and they were just crouched walking around, and left me to die. I wanted to like reach through the screen into their screen and choke them in real life. I mean, the whole purpose of the game is winning as a team. Teammates, yeah. And like this game here had a real good team. I think I'm pretty sure I did. We try to stay together as much as possible. I think this is a game. But um, if not, who knows. But yeah, I think having a team in this game is paramount. You have to have people work with you. And if they don't, then everybody's going to die alone. But yeah, uh, you guys let me know. What is the best loadout to start with this game? And what is the best weapon in this game? Uh, I don't know. I haven't played it. I've been I haven't played, played it enough. I mean, I, I like to get, you know, the the... the information from you know the inside scoop 
So if you guys play this game, I know j -Pot Gaming is big on this game. Maybe j -Pot, if you check out this video, hit me in the comments and let me know what's the best gun, what's the best loadout in this game to start with because uh, I'm excited to see. Now I wanted to let you guys know this is not uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, so don't think that this is uh, you know a, a rundown version of it. Kate's just sitting in the living room, and I started making my you know audio, and she wanted to come over and and just be next to me with her sexy ass. But um, Dave's back, babe. Yeah, I saw that. Dave is back in business playing Call of Duty, baby, baby. It was good to hear his voice, man. Uh, it seems like it's been forever. I was uh, listening to their uh, podcast, the first run, and. You know, his partner in the podcast did, did a, you know, a podcast without him. And I listened to the whole thing. He did a real good job. He kept me interested. He, was, he ended on his top five film scores. And I wanted to send him a message and, and, and let him know at least to listen to, um, uh, what is it? My favorite, the one I always listen to, um, One Hour Photo. Oh, okay. that, that soundtrack is fucking awesome. But yeah, um, he's back, so everything's going to start working itself out. And now I'm sure all the guys will come out of the waterworks to uh, do the Beastly Thoughts. So I'm looking forward to that this week. And uh, this week, guys, everything's going to return back to normal. So starting, you know, probably for tonight when I get off work, uh, just expect Beastly Gamer back in full force, bringing you guys gaming news as well as my own family-centric shit that I normally do. But I want to tell you guys real quick, the games that are coming out for PlayStation Plus this month. Now, um, I do have the, the list for Europe, but I want to go on to North America. North American PlayStation owners will get Pixel Junk Shooters Unlimited and Train 2 Complete Story on the PlayStation 4. So this might be the, oh, first, the nice. first month that we get two PS4 games on um, PlayStation Plus. Sony, you the man, son. You the man, son. I'm, I mean, I'm not as big on Pixel Junk Shooter as I am on Pixel Junk Musters, but all the Pixel Junk games are really fun. Train 2, the Gamut Story, is a good side-scrolling action where you can play, I think, three or four different characters, Wizards, Warlocks, things like that. So that, that'll be pretty fun. Along with NBA 2K14 on the PS3. Uh, now, um, PS3 owners will also get the Sly Cooper These in Time on the PlayStation Vita. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, that's for PS3. Sly Cooper These in Time on PS3. And Vita owners will get Terraria and Mutant Muds Deluxe. So that's um, Train 2, the complete story. Pixel Junk Shooter for PS4. PS3 games will be NBA 2K14. Um, and Sly Cooper These in Time. And Vita will get Terraria and Mutant Buds, Mutant Muds Deluxe. So it's a, a nice selection of PlayStation Plus games uh, for the, the month of June. I love PlayStation Plus, babe. I really, I, before we had it, I didn't see the value in it. Yeah, I just, didn't really care. I thought Sony was just trying to, you know, get a, get a couple bucks and try to be more like Xbox uh, Xbox Live. But, but with the uh, invention of PlayStation Plus, they have changed the game. I have, and speaking of the game, I haven't gotten Watch Dogs yet, guys. Um, I, uh, I see a couple of my homies have it. I think COD has it. Uh, I think 9 to 5 has it. Um, I haven't tried it. I'm kind of, I can get it for 35 bucks, just to let you know, because I got the hookup. 35 Um and uh, I, I just haven't been really excited about it. It's like, I look at it, it looks good, it looks okay, but I haven't seen anything that looks as good as that PC trailer. You remember the PC trailer when they came out yeah. showing all the new tech? I haven't seen anything look like that. And it, it's real reminiscent of like GTA 5 to me, the way it looks, the aesthetic of it. And the reviews are like right in mid-range, some are high and some are low, so I don't know. And I know, guys, the reviews aren't reflective of your personal play experience. Um, I don't think that, you know, every reviewer is going to, you know, hit it the nail on the head with what you would actually think of a video game. But I think that, uh, you know, a majority of them are going to have some logical things to say about a game. And um, Watch Dogs is good, no doubt about that. I think it, it probably will be centered... Metacritic probably around a seven seven point five or eight, but 
which is good. You know, people are judgmental of eights now. But I think eight's still good. But yeah, people are judgmental as hell of eight. It's only an eight. Get the fuck out of it. Like the guy from Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Get the fuck out of here. People don't want eights. People want nines and tens. And anything less is unacceptable. And uh, you know, that guy gets toasty. That was like the first time I ever burnt anybody up and it felt fucking great. <laughs> but um, I'll probably go ahead and get it, you know, either way. Uh, just to have it. But I feel like if I want it, you know, if I absolutely have to have uh, an open world experience right now, I can just throw in Infamous Second Son or something until I, you know, feel like I have to have this game. Plus the fact that I'm working so much this week makes it a little bit hard for me to decide to do that. Well, look, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be making more uh, and uh, keeping you guys up to date with video game news and content in the coming week. I hope you guys are having a great week. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.